and we are on air. Hello, everyone, and uh, good morning if you're watching this now. <laughs> Sorry, got a little stuck. But um, we just want to welcome you to Wednesday, and today we're going to talk about having an action plan. And Tom has something special prepared for us, so we're just going to let you take it away, Tom. Hey there, how's everybody doing today? We're doing good. Good, 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 good. Yeah, what I'm going to go over today is just um, an action plan worksheet, and I've been using it off and on for a number of years. This is a really simplified version of one that I use now, but it's a good way to get started, and today's example is going to be on um, weight loss. Is that correct, Paul? That yeah. sounds good to me. Okay. All right. So I'm going to get started today. What I'm going to do is um, I'm just learning how to use this, um, what is it called, Google Hangout? Yeah. <laughs> and I learn something new every day from these two people. So these are two people that if you have any technology, uh, social media questions, you need to get a hold of these two people because they can definitely point you in the right direction. Um, so they showed me how to do this. So I hope I can get it right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen with you with this document and if you want to copy the document then you can just get a hold of one of us and we'll be able to forward it to you and I might be do we're going to be doing a little bit changing around on the document as we go on the fly because um, every time that we've talked and um, done one of these calls a lot of good information has like um, come up so um, if we make any changes it's just for the better just hang in there with us we're going to do this on the fly so um, here we go. Uh, I'm going to do a share, and I'm going to go share here. There we go. There All we right. go. Awesome. So, here we go. So, this is called an action plan worksheet. It has five simple steps, and the steps are uh, the task or the problem or the issue. And I'm going to change right here as we go along, like I said. I'm going to change task. I'm going to change problem to... challenge and task or challenge it's just a little bit more positive to me because sometimes problems are really good because you get to figure things out the um, second one is intended results the third one is coming up with your game plan the fourth one is um, resources and the fifth one is challenge and so as we go down what we're going to be going over is some action steps, how to set them with due dates and completion dates, strengths, and um, I think also with strengths, I mean, what I'd like to be able to do is um, strengths and, and reason why. Okay, so your strengths and your why, because why is a big thing to me and I know to us also. As we continue down, we're going to also go on down. The last section on the second page is um, who do you need help from? Like what type of help do you need and who do you need it from? So with that, I'm going to get started. And, um, you know, we're going to, I'm going to go over it one more time, but going a little bit deeper into it. When we talk about the task or the challenge on this worksheet, what we're doing is that we're going to define the task or the challenge. When it comes to intended results, it's like what would you like to see happen. What is the intended result? Setting your intention. The game plan is the strategies, the tactics, or the solutions that you can implement to move forward with this. The resources are what do you need for this to be successful, and the challenge is going to be what is keeping you stuck. Okay, and that's a big one. What is keeping you stuck from losing weight? So, Paul, you had a pretty good um, you want to you want to take over, Paul, and just go over a little bit about the um, the task of losing weight. Could you define what weight loss is, or what some people might um, put down for the task? Uh, well, when you say task, you mean like, I mean, isn't the task losing weight? Is that the challenge? Yes. What I what I'm what I'm trying to get people to do is like, there's a number of different things that we have in our lives. We could have a to-do list, say, and on my to-do list, I'm going to lose weight. So that's basically the task. We're defining what 
what we're going to do with this one worksheet. So they're going to be able to use, and I do use these, every worksheet is a different goal. Okay? Okay. So when to defining the task or the challenges, I will, you know, they can say I'm going to lose weight. I am, I have lost weight. Or my thing is on my sheet, I say I'm 175 pounds and 10% body fat. So okay. listing a task. What mm -hmm. what would what do you think some might be since you have some really a lot of experience with this? Listing a task, like how to go about losing weight. Is that what you mean? Or no, just listing some bullets. Like what would somebody? What were some? What are some tasks that people might define as losing weight or getting fit? I need to lose weight. I need to get fit. I need to lower my blood sugar. I mean, what are some things that you hear people when they come to you that they want to want to achieve in their health and fitness? Uh, I'd like to have more energy. Okay. I'd like to have more confidence, look better, feel better. Yeah. Um, That's great. Just yeah. uh, not be sick. <laughs> right. I mean, what do you hear? What do you hear people saying, Mariana? Uh, about the same. Like a lot of it is, you know, I I just want to have more energy. I want to lose such and such pounds. Um, I don't know. Sometimes they're specific. Sometimes they're kind of vague. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Um, I think it just depends on the person, really. Like what, how focused they are on the specifics. Right. Now, now when you were talking about, because you said I want to lose weight by this day or. I I have lost weight. I mean, you're talking about affirmations or af affirmations. Does that go there? I mean, I haven't really I mean, got. It, no. it, 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 it's it's a combination of both. I mean, p different. Everybody's going to list them differently. They could be affirmations or affirmations, or could just be I want to lose weight. But I feel that, and that's a good point too. You, uh, why don't we change this to define the task or challenge with an affirmation? And. Does I that make sense? Explain what an affirmation is and an affirmation is what the differences are. Yeah, you want to do that? Well, an affirmation is basically saying you've already done it. So, yeah. um, I have already, I have lost, oh wait, Steve. I am, I don't know, you want to lose, I have lost 40 pounds. It's probably not the best one. <laughs> um, but like an affirmation would be asking a question like why am I why have I lost 40 pounds so it's it's a little different um, an affirmation is I think a little easier for the mind to accept subconscious mind to accept because you're asking the question where an affirmation is more like if there's if there's any doubt you know it, it's gonna be like you're gonna have these alarms going off well no I don't no, I haven't. I haven't lost the weight. So mm -hmm. when you ask a question, it makes your mind start thinking. Oh, yeah. Well, Try finding the solution. I, yeah, it's, it's coming up with a solution. So I personally think affirmations are better than affirmations, but it's kind of personal, you know. I, I just think the affirmations are a little easier to accept. So why am I so healthy? You know, instead of I am healthy. You know, it's, it's just a little different. Because if you're not healthy... <laughs> Yet... Yeah, yet, and you're saying you are, in time you're going to believe it, but right away you're going to be like, well, I'm not healthy, so I, you know, you're just going to have this thought. It's just going to pop up. It's automatic. Yep. So, but I don't know if that goes there or not, but I do think, you know, having one of those is probably good. Whatever works, really. It, it, some people, affirmations work for them, you know. Uh I don't want to get too caught up in that right there. That's a whole subject on its own, I think. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take notes on that. <laughs> okay, great. So, yeah, just set a task, and then the intended results are what would I like to see happen, which is sort of in line with what we were just talking about. I mean, I want to lose weight. I want to lose 40 pounds, like Paul said. Or the more the, 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 the you know, when it comes to the... Um, um, part of the subconscious mind and all these things like that. It's like saying, making statements that says where I want to be at. Where I, like in the beginning, I said, I am 175 pounds and 10% body fat. It's not like I want to 
want to weigh 175 pounds and be at 10% body fat, I'm actually programming my brain to say I am 175 pounds, 10% body fat. Does that make sense? Yeah. I mean, a woman could say, I want to be a size 6, or I want to fit into my jeans, or I want to be able, like Paul said, feel comfortable, Mariana said, comfortable looking in the mirror. Does that make sense? He's got to put the I am in front of it, right? Exactly. So that's a good point right there. Good point. So, or why? Let's put or that in affirmation. Why? Is, why do I fit into my jeans? You know, yeah. like, <laughs> okay, that makes sense. So it's an I am statement, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Affirmation's an I am statement. Affirmation's a question. That's a good way to describe them. So why am I so happy? You know, it, it's yeah, okay. you're asking a question, so your mind will go to work, coming up yeah. with a solution. Okay. All right. The next one would be the game plan. And with the game plan, what this is about is what are the strategies, tactics, or solutions um, that a person can implement to move forward. Um, so I'm going to, um, what that means, what are the strategies? What would be some of the strategies to lose weight, Mariana? Um, it could be anything from finding a program. You know, if you prefer to go, you know, running outside, then maybe buying your shoes uh, and finding a path or, the, you know, a trail or something. Um, you know, getting on a good nutrition plan. I don't know. Is that what you're looking for? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, or, or maybe, you know... I don't know, talking to a friend and, and having, you know, a mutual agreement that you're going to keep each other on track. Um, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. a coach, a trainer. Um, yeah, get, yeah, get a trainer. Set, setting your intentions, your game plan. Right. Um, when are you going to work out? You know, uh, how long, the duration? What are you going to okay. do? How are you going to do it? Things okay. Like All right. That makes sense. Yeah. So that's all we're looking for is just to get a game plan. It could be, you know, getting a trainer. It could be getting a getting a coach. It could be, you know, what are you going to do? I'm going to go do the research. I'm going to join a gym. I'm going to get mm -hmm. a coach. I'm going to whatever it is, the strategy, what do you need to do to move forward? That's going to be your game plan. Okay. Awesome. All right. Now, number four is resources. What do I need for this to be successful? What would you think that would be, Mariana? <laughs> That's where the shoes come in, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> My bad. Um, yeah. So, like, going and actually buying your shoes for you know your cross training shoes or whatever. Or um, what? What else did you have there? The, uh, um, what do you need for this to be resources. successful? I mean, it could be the same thing, sort of like the game plan. The resources are going to be the right clothing. Yeah. Um, it could be an accountability partner. Okay. It could, it could be joining, you know, ordering the DVDs. I mean, there's a there's a number right. of things that people need to do. I mean, if they're doing a lot of cardio, it could be getting a, a heart rate monitor, right? Right. There's a lot of things that people could do. Or pedometer. That's how I started. There you go. There you go. Okay. Anything that you can think of, Paul? Uh, I mean, just anything you need to accomplish the goal. Anything that that goes with, like, so we're doing lose weight as an example. Um, what kind of food do you need to have? You know, uh, are there any kind of calculators you need to have to figure out how many calories you need to, to be eating? You know, um, just things like that. Uh, okay. Like you guys cover pretty much everything. <laughs> okay. What, what do you need? All right. What do you need to accomplish? So, yeah. Where it says number five is challenge. What is keeping me stuck? What is a better way to say that? What is keeping me from achieving my 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 goal or task? Yeah, I think that might be better.
Okay, I think I'm going to go back up for a second and call this a, we think like the goal, the, the task, I'm going to change task to goal right here. Okay. So what does achieve what does keep me from achieving my goal? Or addressing my challenge. <laughs> All right. There we go. Finally. Okay. Awesome. So here is where we'd list out some um, you know, what is keeping me from doing this? I'm not committed. I don't know what to do. I, 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 I hate working out by myself. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid. I'm ashamed. I mean, what other things do you hear people saying? I mean, time. time yeah. with you. I don't have the money. I don't have the motivation. I'm not motivated. Um, I mean, I've heard pretty much anything you can think of. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, money and time are big. Money and time. Uh -huh. uh, I don't know how. Right. I don't know what That's to a do. Good one. I don't have the support. Um, I've never uh -huh. exercised before. <laughs> um, I'm scared. Oh, oh, like weight training is a great one. I don't want to get bulky. You know, I don't want to get too big. Mm -hmm. I guess it's more of an excuse, though, than a challenge. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> but, yeah, challenges are just, you know, uh, being motivated, for one. I mean, that's definitely a challenge for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. We go by feelings a lot of the time, and that's that, that doesn't get you anywhere when you have go by feelings only. Right. Because you can feel, I, I don't feel like working out today. Well, you're not going to. If you don't feel like it, you know? <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, that's a, that's really good stuff. Okay, so those are some of the challenges that people might have. And then um, going down to the second page, which I just had to fix, is we're going to look at um, the actions and timeline. So the what would be some of the action steps to lose weight, Mariana? Some of the action steps. Uh, well, these are like the ones we were listing earlier, right? Um, yep. You know finding the finding your your shoes or, or no what it, it was that was the action well yeah so action that's step. a good point so what 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 we would what we would do okay. here what we would do here is take those steps and put a date on them okay so, so tomorrow i'm going to go get my shoes and so my workout clothes yeah and then the following day, I'll research what I'm going to do for um, the workout. Like, what do I want to work out or where do I want to work out? Uh, am I going to get a gym membership or am I going to get a pack of DVDs? Or am I going to go and find a friend to just go and rough the pavement or um, like that? Is that what you, that's what you're talking about, right? Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to say we're, I'm going to buy some shoes and some clothes and we're going to write a date in, a right. due date, and then we're going to check off and write the date that we actually did it. Okay. And then you're going to look for a workout program and you're going to put the due date and then the date you complete it. So exactly like you said. Okay. Now what would be some other action steps? I'm going to lose five pounds by something, something. Something, something? Okay. Yeah. All right. Anything else? Um, I don't know. Probably having like a bigger goal after that, like maybe five pounds, ten pounds, or maybe even go by inches because I know some people are like pounds they can lose, but, you know, inches is a different story. At least for me, I try not to pay attention to, to the scale too much because I can fluctuate really easily and it just – drives me crazy if I do that. Right. So I just go by the way my clothes feels and, um, you know, sizes and stuff. So maybe, like, 
go down a, a dress size or a pant size by, I don't know. It, I, I, I could probably do like a pant size in like a week or something, but that's just depending on the program I'm doing. So, I mean, I know that's doable with, with some Ashanti stuff. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but other people might think you're freaking crazy you know like that's not I can't do that so I mean it, I think it just depends right am I right right yeah right but action steps are more how you're going to accomplish it right like what are the steps you're going to do to accomplish the goal so like so, you said so like you said you have to get it started in a workout program right so right um, so it's the steps you're taking to get going, get started, right? Yeah. To get, to get reach your goals. Oh, I thought it was like so that, all of it. So that actually, huh? I thought I thought it was like all combined, like the stuff you're doing to take the steps to go forward or to reach, to start your goal, or and and then all of that afterwards. Yeah, you need well each action, each each worksheet is for a specific. Goal. Okay. Oh, okay. So this this one's sense. on losing weight, and then we'd have a different worksheet for the next one that you just talked about. That's a good point. Okay. That's a good point. Yeah. Because then it would just go on forever, and they wouldn't have a sense of accomplishment. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Well, that's that's the issue, in my opinion. We uh, we have to do lists, and we just we we we. I've heard people talk about this forever. You know, we have a to-do list and we keep we write things on it, but as soon as we get something done, we write more on it. So it seems like the, the list never ends. Yeah, that's my problem sometimes. Mhm. Mm okay. Yeah, this is awesome. I like this. Okay, cool. And then um, the next step would be the strengths and the reason why that we'd want want to accomplish losing weight. I mean, obviously, I mean, and I think. In looking at this, do you th we should put the reason why first, right? Probably. Yeah, I would. Yeah. So we're going to take this off. This is really cool stuff you guys are teaching me. <laughs> I'm glad it's, it's, it's... I know. <laughs> okay. So these are the reasons why. And I, I mean, how do you guys feel about just working on a why instead of the strengths? What do you, how do you define I, the strengths? I mean, honestly, I think the why should be like the first thing. I do too. <laughs> just well, I'm, 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 I'm changing it around. Drive, yeah, the I'm, why, I'm the why is going to drive everything. Yeah, but should we take off strengths altogether for right now? What do you mean by strengths, though? Like what, what I follow through. I mean, I think if somebody needs to lose weight, then. They're, they're obviously having some struggles. Mm -hmm. So, you know, maybe it's more of a reason why than what their str strengths to me would be because I can follow through, because once I put my mind to this, I can do anything. Those are going to be your yeah. strengths because I never give up. I'm I a mean, persistent those person. I'm, you know, I have willpower. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think we should just leave it at why. What do you think? I'm confident. Yeah. So just leave it at why? Yeah, I think well, just the I would say maybe the why should move up. Maybe why should be like the very first thing. That's like setting your intention, right? Oh, on the worksheet you mean? Well, I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking like you got to start with your why. Like that's your driving force. That's your motivation. Start with why. And then everything else falls in place. I'm not trying to redo your whole sheet, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> I know what type of guy I got. I got. I, I I know what type of guy you are. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay. No, that makes sense, and that's how we all work together. Just to let you people know out there, it's a team effort. You know, we're gonna come up with the best solutions for you. And actually, this is a really good process that we're doing right now because the, we're really consciously, or, or actually, we're having a conversation on processing content that a lot of people probably go through. Like, what should I do? Should I work on my strengths or should I work on my why? So we're mm -hmm. actually, this is good stuff. I'm really, um. I'm really good. We got a mastermind going here, Tom. Yeah. Oh. There we go. <laughs> okay. Just got to make this look, um, a little bit better here. 
Okay, how's that look right there? Then we're just going to take out one thing, right? Take out this right here. Okay, almost there. So we've, we, we're, we're talking about why. We've already done the action step. Uh, we're going to come back to that in a minute. Um, okay, there we go. So these are the reasons why I have to accomplish my weight loss goal because I want to feel better. I want to lower my um, cholesterol. I want to lower my blood sugar. I don't want to get on diabetes. I want to be able to go to my sister's wedding and look hot. Yeah. I want to. Um, I want to be able to. Um, some people like I, I, I. I've heard that women have had issues or um, challenges getting pregnant if they were overweight. I want to get pregnant. Um, uh, I yeah. want to be able to play with my kids. Right. Yeah. That's a big one. That was a really good one, putting the why at the top. Okay. Yeah, any other job. whys that you might, any other whys that you can think of? That pretty. I mean, though, I think those are like the main ones. Like, I want to have energy because I want to be able to, you know, walk down the street and not feel like I'm going to pass out, or, you know, just have fun at the park with my kids, or, I. I I mean, those are pretty strong and, and very common, I think. Be more active. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I think the why starts everything. You got to have mm -hmm. the why. You have the why, it's going to be your driving force, and everything else will fall into place. Sure. Okay. That makes sense. Um, your vision, basically. Okay. All righty. So we've done the why. We've did the action steps first, and now we're at getting help and from whom. You want to, you want to start with that, Paul? Well, obvious choices for me getting help would be. <laughs> uh, I mean, there's there's multiple uh, places for for these kind of resources. You can trainer, coach, uh, you can go online. Mm -hmm. There's accountability programs online. Uh, a friend that you know, like, and trust, you know, <laughs> yeah. not not someone that's just going to, like, oh, it's okay, you didn't work out today, that's okay. No, that's not going to work for you. If you want to get results, you need someone that's going to hold you accountable. So, right. somebody that's going to hold you accountable may someone going through the same struggles you're going through. You right. guys can work together, you know, uh, to get through it. That, that, that really helps a lot when people are together in a group and they're working together to accomplish the same goal and maybe they have the same they're going through the same kind of struggles but they can you know help each other out through the process right but I definitely feel it's important to have somebody that knows what they're doing though that's been through it and understands it, what what some of the challenges are that they're gonna face uh -huh. to keep them going through so I think you know those are just some of the places you can reach out I mean there's all kinds of resources online all kinds of different programs you can uh, and, and the thing is you don't have to have someone physically with you that's that's the thing too you can have more of a virtual person mm -hmm. you know a, a virtual coach a virtual trainer so to speak or I mean you could even have someone you follow on, on let's say a DVD program for example you know a lot of those uh, those leaders are very motivational and, and they'll definitely help you uh, Fire, get fired up. I know some of the programs I've done, I mean, I can tell you from experience that I push harder because I got a guy telling me, hey, you know, we're not done. Keep going. You got this, you know, mm -hmm. over and over. But see, I'm the personality type that that fires me up. Some other people may not have that kind of thing, personality type, and they might need a little more support. They might need that one-on-one -on -one interaction. To stay motivated, stay focused. It just depends on your personality, I think. Yeah. But for me, all I need is someone. Hey, you know, keep going. Don't give up. Keep going. You know. Uh, and see, I like challenges. So if I see someone that's doing more than I'm doing, I'm gonna try to do as much. That's just the way I am. So mm -hmm. that's how I'm built. Um, like I said, not everybody's like that. Not everybody has that that competitive uh, nature about them. So you just have to find what works for you. Some people, like I said, it works better one on one, and one on one's great if you can do that. Um, if you can find someone that wants to work with you, the problem with one on one though is it does get a little expensive. 
unless you have a good friend that knows what they're doing that you can work out with or whatever. But uh, yeah, so I mean, who who do you, you just reach out to? Whoever, really. I mean, if you have a if you have a friend that's kind of going through the same thing as you, or, or you know someone that's going to hold you accountable, that's who I'd reach out to. I wouldn't reach out to someone that's just going to like tell you what you want to hear. Because yeah. you're not going to get anywhere if you if you have that. If someone's telling you what you want to hear, oh, you missed your workout. Oh well, that's okay. That happens, you know. Yeah. You want someone like the just do it guy. Yeah, yeah. You want someone that's gonna. I mean. <laughs> I don't know. So a lot of people probably can't handle me. I'm very <laughs> no excuses kind of guy. So, <laughs> like, just do it. You know, shut up and do it. That's how I am. And but I get it done. So you know, you can back yeah. it up with that. I mean, I mean, I've worked with you, and you know how it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> Mariana, you know. Yep. You can. It, I can take it. It works for uh, me. But again, yeah. you gotta have a why. If you don't have a why, you don't have motivation. You know, if someone's going at you, you're going to get offended. You're going to get upset. So yeah. you got to have that driving passion, you know, that, that mm -hmm. reason for doing it. Totally. I and totally I, think, agree. I think it has to be, I think it, for get, losing weight, it has to be bigger than just, oh, I want to look better. I mean, that's, that's a big thing, but I think there's a lot more to losing weight, getting healthy, getting fit, than just looking better. Mm -hmm. my, per, my personal opinion. Not trying to go off track, but yeah. So I mean, that's that's who you would talk to. I would say, you know, uh, anybody else have any any other uh, feedback there? No, I think no, you I, hit them all. I think you hit them all. Yeah, I was just gonna say I think you hit them all. Okay, so just to get a recap of today, what we've talked about is um, an action plan worksheet. Which, if you'd like um, a copy of this, just get a hold of one of us three. And we talked about the goal and the challenge, defining the goal and the challenge with an affirmation or affirmation. Number two is we've talked about intended results. What would I like to see happen? The I am statement. I am 175 pounds, 10% body fat. I am fitting into those skinny jeans I always wanted to get into. I am going to my class reunion and feeling confident about myself. The game plan. What are the strategies, tactics, or solutions that I can implement to move forward? I need to lose weight, so I'm going to get some workout clothes, some sneakers, I'm going to get some DVDs, I'm going to get a coach. I'm going to stop, you know, eating fast food. I'm going to drink half a gallon to a gallon of water per day. These are some of the tactics and solutions that you can implement. Um, the resources. What do I need for this to be successful? Well, I need some good shoes, I need some good clothing, I need to get some good advice from a professional, whether it's from DVDs or from upfront. The challenge, what is keeping me from achieving my goal or addressing my challenge? What are some of the things that are keeping me from this? I'm not getting up enough time. I don't have an accountability partner. I, I tend to, you know, love desserts. These are some of the challenges that somebody would have. Um, the next part would be the why. What are the reasons why I have to accomplish this goal? We've, the next section would be the action steps. You break every step down. There could be 100 steps. You never know. There could be 20 steps. It depends on how deep you want to go with your goal. And then the last part is, this is the help I need and from whom. And like you write down what help you need, the person's name, and the date that you contacted them. Mm -hmm. um, like it. You like that. OK, yeah. That, this worked out pretty good. I was really happy with um, being able to um, you know, go over this with everybody. Um, I know that I could I I do these and I sometimes I do them very thoroughly and sometimes I don't. I think I have more success and more um, um, sense of accomplishment when I can actually you know list them out and stuff like that. So yeah, um, I just think it's a really good thing. You know, we all have goals, but I think the issue is is like how do we attain those goals? Right, right. Yeah. Very good, very good. Okay. Awesome. All right, well, we will um, end here. Um, is there anything else that you guys wanted to add? Or? I was going to say, you know, if, if you need somebody that, uh, you need an accountability partner, you need, uh, you need someone to reach out to, you need some help, 
Uh, I'm just there's a button below this. It says uh, oh yes, free coaching on there. Go ahead and click that, and you get one of us as your coach. Uh, depending on who, what button you click, <laughs> whoever, <laughs> whatever page you're watching this on, that will be your coach. So um, we're all here to help you. We all have experience in the field. So yeah, just click on the button. Get us as your coach. That's that's all I got. Awesome. Okay. Sounds good. All right, then we'll go ahead and um, stop here, and I wish everyone a good rest of your morning or day or afternoon or whatever time you're watching this at. Bye-bye. <laughs> Get that action plan set.